on back on just for a second here. No, I don't have one. Well, this is going back. So, so what was the better bang for the buck investment? Getting the money for Heron and the $10 million for the Dodgers to pay his full salary or the 12500 spent on board? Heron winning tonight, <laughs> setting the tone. Just a, another tremendous outing by Dan. Truly the professional that he is, set the tone from the beginning. Um, two solo home runs, picked up the bullpen, being able to go seven innings. And uh, he's just a pro. He makes pitch after pitch, and uh, he knows how to expand. He works vertical. It's uh, it's really fun to watch him out there do what he does. And, you know, Bohr, um putting a crooked number up there with that home run. It's a big inning. D set the tone, uh, you know, got on with a knock, stole the bag. Um, you know you're in a battle with Harvey. Uh, G moves him over, and, uh, um, you know, we take Prado's walk in that mix, and then Bohr has the big blast. And so it was great to see a crooked number like that. And then just as important, uh, we come back and score another run uh, in the fifth, uh, an add-on run with a two-out base hit. So that brought a smile to everyone's face in the dugout because it's uh, been a little frustrating over the last few days when we haven't been able to get that. Prado come through in a big way, and uh, that was huge. What did it tell you when, about pitching when Harry beats him with 84 and Harvey loses with 98? Yeah. Definitely it's location. And, uh, you know, Dan's experience, not going to panic, knows how to make pitches, gave up the two solo home runs, didn't panic at all, came right back, made quality pitches. And, uh, you know, he got out of that. We were able to go to uh, Dyson, who retired all three that he faced. And then, uh, you know, Ramos come in, and although he gave up a run, he punched out two guys. And uh, it was a nice win. It was good to see the bullpen get a chance to uh, come in and, and uh, close out innings and, uh, and get the save and, uh, and get us a win. What, what was uh, why you all didn't challenge that uh, safe call at second? On the uh, we called, and it was uh, he, missed, he missed his hand. Okay. You yeah. for, for AJ to get out of a jam like that, his first couple of saves were – Kind of uh, easy, not easy, but he got one, two, three to, to work out of trouble. What do you think that might mean for him? You know, the thing we all love about AJ is it's a running joke here. He's got ice water in his veins. He doesn't panic, and he is on the attack, and that's great because you're not going to put him in an uncomfortable situation with traffic on or not, and uh, he's going to continue to come at you. So should be a tremendous confidence booster. You look at his numbers. He's got as good of numbers as anyone. I think that was his third save, but you look at his ERA and his hits per innings and strikeouts, it's uh, it's very very good. With your stomach turning, run second one out. Uh, here we go again. No, oh. we w we wouldn't be the fish if we didn't make it close. <laughs> when War was uh, selected, what were the expectations? We loved his bat. Uh, the reports we had on him, John, he was uh, he's always been a hitter. Uh, certainly there's power in that body. And um, there was a, a tremendous job by uh, our double-A manager, Andy Barquette, and uh, Dan Nofsinger and Benny Latino, the three guys that identified him. And um, it was just a, a great effort to be able to go and get a guy off of that roster uh, in, the, uh, in the Rule 5 draft that's been able to come up here and produce the way he has. TJ, he hasn't been used much against lefty starters. Could that change maybe tomorrow? Uh, you know what? We have a luxury here with having Baker, who's got a tremendous average against left-handers. And, you know, right now Morse is shut down. But uh, it's nice to have a mixture of those guys that have a little thump as well as uh, our quality hitters. You think Harvey had no hit stuff those first three innings? He was pretty good that first inning for sure. It was uh, he made quick work. So you know what? When you face a guy that quality, you know you're going to be in a battle. And uh, it was great to see Dan match him inning by inning, and then uh, to have a little uh, cushion there. You know that's huge because if if pitchers think they got to be perfect every pitch, you you can run into trouble. And uh, for Bohr to hit that home run, the way that whole inning unfolded, D setting the tone, getting the bag. And uh, you know, uh, Martin working the uh, working the walk, and then G moving him over. We're thinking, you know what? If we get one, then one is good. And uh, Bohr took care of that. Did you said you want to have to get a little creative there, kind of throw the <clears throat> a little bit. Do how good he did those first three innings. Um, you know, we we're, we feel good up and down the lineup with guys that we can put the game in motion with. We're not afraid to do it. And uh, I, I our hitters tonight grinded out some at bats, and that's good to see. So. Um, it's a nice win. It's nice to get uh, get that 0-3 uh, streak, break that, and uh, hopefully we can build momentum and move forward.